So now we're going to analyze motion that we just looked at in the previous video. And so we have the equation Okay, and by simple, this is really an idealization. Um, so basically, we're saying that um, we're saying uh, length uh, from pivot to center of mass. We're saying that Okay, so basically what we're saying is we have a pivot point, we have a light string, so we have a pivot, we have a light, so Okay, so we have all these qualifications. We basically have a pivot, we have a heavy point mass, so it's like a whole bunch of mass in one tiny little spot. We have a massless string, which doesn't exist, and then we have small angle, and what constitutes a small angle? Well, it depends on who you're talking to. Okay, so given all of those qualifications, we're gonna say that T equals two pi square root of L over G. And so uh, L is G is our good old friend, the acceleration due to gravity. And then uh, we know what 2 pi is, and then T is the period for one cycle. And that's redundant because period means time for one cycle. So I, I shouldn't really put it in there, I'm just putting it in there as a reminder to you. Okay, so if I have, um, let's see, so some of my uh, some of my data is I had uh, 1.5 hang on a second I gotta put in my data right I'm sorry I had a length of a 50 of 61.5 centimeters, so 0 0.0615 meters. And now on Earth, where I am at right now, we're going to say 9.81 meters per second squared. So I could take this to another planet. I could go to the moon. Uh, there would be less gravity up there. And I could show you that there is less gravity, but as you can tell, I am working on a limited budget, and so that is outside of my budget. 2 pi times square root 
of 0.615 divided by 9.81 is going to be 1.57 seconds. And we measured um, for 10 in that situation, what we measured was 15.86 seconds. And so that seems reasonable to me. And if we look at another one that I had uh, t equals 2 pi square root of uh, 0.305 meters and 9.81 meters per second squared. And so that time, just going to go back up change that to 305 and I'm going to get 11.07 uh, so like I should 1.107 and so measured in that case was was 11.14 seconds so 410 So again, I'm not getting perfect results. I'm off by a little bit. Well, how much am I off by? Well, in both those cases, let's do um, 11, I'm sorry, clear that. I want to do 1.114 minus 1.107. I was off by a very little amount divided by 1.107 so right now I'm about one percent error and over here uh, if I do 15 let's 1.586 minus 1.57 take that divide it by 1.57 and I'm getting about a still 1% error so as sort of as as sort of sketchy as these numbers are and I'm going through them really quickly my calculations agree with measured results to about 1%, which I am extremely happy with, although you might not be able to hear it in my voice. Okay, so then that should be um, mass on a string and pendula, and then we're going to come back and do something with waves on a spring.